inches to three feet eight inches tall very diminutive relative to us but her bones all of her bones are much more robust than ours her upper arm bone here for example which is much longer than ours would be if it was a human that size this this arm bone it, it would end about right here also it would be about that thick so we we can see she's much more robust than we are in all of her dimensions. She has the head of a chimpanzee, which we cannot tell from her skull, as you can see, but from others like her. Head of a chimpanzee. But we do know that she walks upright because we have her hip joint and her pelvis, and we have her particularly her knee joint, all of which are amazingly human, so we know. She walked upright, no question about it, she was an upright walking creature. Just didn't have bones that looked anything like ours, far ahead for that matter. Now, one other thing I want to point out about this is the people that are paid to go out and find these fossils, these pre-human fossils, are paid to find pre-human fossils. So, what they do is they, they fudge it every way they can to make them look human, and they always have problems with the arms because all the arms of the pre humans are too long from here to here, from shoulder to elbow relative to us. So if you notice what they did is they fudged this way up beyond where it ought to be to get this up here, to get this up here so they could get the fingertip down around mid-thigh, when in reality it belongs down around here. Keep these little tricks in mind. This is all part of the subtle brainwashing campaign that is waged against you to make you believe that they're telling it to you straight about how this all happened. Okay, next slide. All right, as I said, these are the first four of the Australopithecines, and Lucy is one of the first kind Australopithecus afarensis. We have Africanus, we have Robustus, we have Boise, all right? We have basically a pair of upright walking chimpanzees, upright walking gorillas. You can see that, length of face, width of face, and sagittal crest, which modern gorillas have. It's a rigid bone where the muscles attach to the tops of their heads. So from four million years ago to approximately two million years ago, we have a pair of upright walking chimps, a pair of upright walking gorillas, and that's it. Okay? Now, at two million years ago, we have a transformation. We are told it is a transition, that somehow the Australopithecine segued into the next creature, which is Homo. Homo meaning man. You will see they are indeed more man-like than are the Australopithecines, which are clearly primates, upright walking primates. So, we have this changeover from Australopithecines to Homos. We're told that it is a trans transition. It is a transformation, as you will see with this slide. Next slide, please. Okay, here we go. Australopithecine, early Homo. Notice, if you will, this is not a transition. This would require 20 or 30 gradual changes to get in from this to this. It is an overnight change. It is just sudden. Boom. The homos are here. I don't mean that like it sounds. Okay, next slide. All right, the homos are here. Here we go. The homo habilis, homo erectus, homo archaic, homo neanderthal, and then Cro-Magnon, Homo sapiens, us. Notice Neanderthal man going back and through the Australopithecines don't look anything like us. Nothing. Here we sit right here. Another transition. Now remember, we had four million years Australopithecines, approximately two million years. There's some overlap in here. And then 120,000 years ago only, boom, here we are suddenly, overnight, looking nothing like anything that has come before. The bones of all of these creatures are much thicker than ours, just like Lucy's were. And in every way, the shapes are dissimilar. They do not have, it's hard to tell looking straight on, but they have no forehead. Their foreheads go straight back off their huge eyebrow ridges, neither of which we have. We have a nice forehead here, we have no brow ridges. Huge, round, nocturnal vision eyes. So did the Australopithecines. These are primate eyes. Primates have this kind of eye. Huge, wide nasal passages indicating a big, flat nose spread across the face. We've got our little uplift of bones. We have a rectangular small, 
a very poor night vision. 